Okay, so now that we have this sales lead created and we'll pretend that we went ahead and met with the manager, we're gonna go ahead and create the quote right from the sales lead. So this drop down menu will allow me to do that. I'm gonna add the quote and we'll give it a name and we'll just say, you know, uh, building sign and, you know, vehicle wrap. I'm gonna do a partial. And I will do a little description here for the, for the uh, quote. Customer notes you do want to include if you need to. These are kind of like little disclaimers that the customer needs to know while you so it shows up on the quote. Under well, this case, we'll do a permit not included. Who's your primary contact? In this case, it's Dave. Who's your sales rep? Uh, I'm listed as the default sales rep. So, um, project manager, quote expiration, and next contact date. When do you want Signbox to remind you about the? quote as it starts to age and save then we have a blank quote let's go ahead and add an item to our quote and we'll start with the site sign or the building sign and uh, let's just say we're just going to do something you know right up on the kind of like the roof line you know something kind of simple vinyl graphics so what I've done is I built a template on the back end where I can kind of build out from my database of materials and vinyls something pretty easy so I called it a flat panel so I'm just going to start typing in you know there's my template We'll rename it for the customer. One sign, you can make it double sided. In this case, it is going to be a three foot by, we'll do a 12 foot wide by a three foot tall sign. Design details. Um, Okay, any kind of production details? Um, anything that's specific, you know, you need to put in there, by all means do. These two bo text boxes do show up on work orders. Hit save. And I've got my template that popped up. And in, in this case, my template only has two labor rates. I'm just going to build from my database of materials. I could have all kinds of different templates, you know, for different types of substrates. But me personally, I like to use, you know, something, you know, generic. You know, I pick and choose. So in this case, I'm going to build my, you know, building sign out of, uh, let's do it out of Lumilite. So I'm going to find the thickness that I want. You know, we'll just do, we'll do the quarter inch or three eighths, I should say. Hit add. I am going to print this, you know, particular deal. So I want to start adding some vinyls. And we'll go down here and we'll find, we'll use this one out of the, you know, 3651. I'm going to add some ink in there. I could have combined these prices if I wanted to. We'll do a high quality. And I'm going to, you know, add a laminate. You know, and what's nice, you can, you know, you can further filter your materials if you need to into, you know, categories. And we will do, might as well do this one right here. And with Illumilite, I'm going to add some edge cap. So let's go in there and find the edge cap. There it is right there. We're going to find the 3 eighths. Hit add. And we're also going to install it. And we'll, let's do an hour and a half. Okay. So there's everything that's being included into my price. If I need to make some adjustments, I could. You know, cost and price, that kind of stuff. And Signbox says discounting based on size and quantity. In this case, it's saying that, hey, your size hits your discount bracket where it should, it should take 35% off the original you know, price. Then to add your options in when I'm ready, hit show quote. All done. There's my description. You can tell Signbox not to include this stuff you know, on setup if you need to, or you can simply just override it, you know, and I'll just, you know, in this case, I'll just put includes install. There's my description. I'm gonna go ahead and you know add my vehicle wrap. And uh, this is an add-on for Signbox, you know, but it's really cool the way it works. So I'm going to go ahead and search for my uh, Camaro. Let's give it a name. Description, you know. All right. 
And on my back end of my template, I've told it that I, you know, it cost me six dollars a square, and I want to charge twelve dollars a square. And I'm going to use this media and this lamb. I can pick and choose if I needed to and override. I could have also on the back end put some measurements of what this vehicle would be, and you know, if I knew it was a full wrap, I'd leave it all checked. Or if I wanted to uncheck certain areas that aren't going to be covered, it would only charge, you know, for this much. Yeah, you know, really cool. But um, what's really nice about this is that if you don't know those measurements or you didn't want to bother to take the time to measure them out ahead of time, you can just hit save and measure and measure on an as need basis. So let's just say they're going to do the sides. So if you'll see, I've got my template down here. So Signbox Wrapbox is actually you know linked to a uh, library of templates. There's a side of my vehicle. And let's just draw a box. That's the area that I'm going to print and cover. There's the area right there that I'm going to print. And I can accommodate for bleed. So, you know, 43 inches, I'm printing on a 54 inch roll. Maybe I'll just put, you know, 10 inches and build in that way. Or I could, you know, extend this to be 54 inches. And I'm going to do window perf on the back. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and find the back. There it is right there, and they wanted some lettering on the back. All done. When I'm ready to go, I hit save. And if I needed to, I can make some adjustments. When I'm ready, just hit save and measure. And I've got my partial wrap basically built in into the uh, price of my quote. Very easy. You don't have to bother my designer. All done. So ready to go to the customer? Simply email it. Choose who it's going to go to. What kind of quote do you want to give them? Give them a nice little message here. Could be a little nicer, you know, verbiage there, but um, then you get the idea. If I wanted to, I could attach, you know, some files that upload to Signbox. Maybe they're a new customer and they wanted some net 30 terms. I could just say, hey, here's my terms application. You know, fill it out, get it back to us, hit send. And customer now has a quote in hand you can tell exactly when it was given you can see the conversation that was said when you sent it and um, basically what happens is that the customer can reply back to it when you're ready to go you put that into production and we'll cover that into the next video thanks